My dudes, we are about to get Bernice. And if you saw the character, you know, like demo, whatever you want to call it, and you saw my reaction to it just recently, you probably know I'm excited for her because holy crap, right? She is smoking. So today we're going to be talking about if you should be summoning for Bernice uh, with the A rank units being, of course, Nicole or Lucy. Now, if you like, or not, or and Lucy. But if you like content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And then don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Uh, today, uh, before I went to work, I did two scoops of Blowhole Blast and one scoop of Strawberry. And I got to tell you, mixing the flavors is fantastic. So get yourself a couple tubs. Use code Tystra for 10% off to get that, basically, the shipping off. So cheers to y'all. Mm. This one's just regular water right now because I'm about to go to bed. But let's go ahead and talk about Bernice, right? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So as you can see, we have the character list pulled up. And we're first going to be talking about, uh, where is she? Where's Lucy at? Lucy. So Lucy, for me, I have not played with a lot. But I know a lot of people like what she does. Now, if we go to the tier list, we're going to just use the tier list as an example here. We're not saying that this is the go-to. But she is considered a buffer. Uh, charge, minion, support, whatever you want to call. They got so many lists right there, but apparently she buffs. So let's go ahead and look at her kit really quick and see where that buff is coming from, right? The guard bore is increased by 140% in this uh, core passive. Additional ability better up when another character in your squad shares the same attribute or faction. The guard bores inherit uh, Lucy's crit rate and crit damage. So she's a builder of crit rate and crit damage, which is nice. So, I wonder why they put her so low. I think it's because it's more self-buffing from what it looks like for the Inherent Boar. Uh, with her guard, with the Guard Boar, when Lucy uses her fourth basic skill, and when she gains the Cheer On status, the Guard Boar will whirl their baseball bats in the continuous motion, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. Honestly, I have not used her that much, so to me, it's kind of, you know, weird. She has her special attacks. I'm trying to see from what it looks like. Overall, she's mainly a buffer of her own damage. I do know with her uh, EX special, it's pretty good. Uh, and the reason why I like her basic attacks, or at least not her basic attacks, but her enhanced special is when you hold it down, you can actually fire it uh, or use the baseball bat to hit the boar and it'll hit the opponent, right? Now, I don't have a lot of, I would say, experience with Lucy, right? I hear Lucy is decently fun, and I do agree. The times I have used her is pretty fun. But when it comes to a meta standpoint, I can't say that she's top tier. But again, I use I use Rena on a couple of my teams, and she works really, really good. I think that Lucy is decent for a four-star. It looks like the only supports... Well, it looks like she's the second to worst support. But even still, I don't think that there's really a bad character in ZZZ to run. So Lucy is at least fun to run with. Now, Nicole, on the other hand, I could say that I do have experience with, especially with her gravitational pull, uh, stop, blah, 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 blah. her gravitational pull special attack, which is pretty dope. Uh, I like the fact that also, like, just as a side note with her, um, when you're firing her special EX attack and you change the directional pad, I think down or left, I can't remember. But if you do that, she actually goes to where she sits on the actual, like, case, which is pretty dope. But you can charge it up, and what it does is when you fire it, it basically gravitational pulls the... Uh, I think it's usually small to medium-sized enemies get pulled in pretty good. Um, so you want to fire this alongside... Or not alongside. You want to fire this to bigger enemies, and it'll work really well. So for me, like, I still use her on teams as well. I want to get a team... Or not a team, but... I want to get the team together of, uh, you know, Zhu, Zhu Yan freaking uh queen Yi and uh nicole together that's my per that's my personal go-to team right now right now like the main focuses i'm using is using jane doe with queen Yi and uh kaiser or caesar i don't know i'm messing up all over the place guys i'm so tired so my apologies on that but my main team right now is running Jane Doe, Queen Yi, and Caesar. But if I don't feel like running Caesar, I usually run Nicole because I think Nicole is just so good. Plus, she's one of the first units to get for free. So getting more of her is actually pretty good. So I would definitely say that she's worth getting more copies of if you have not fully maxed her out yet. Then Bernice, I want to kind of dive deeper into. So let's first look at her passives. Uh, when Bernice expands energy, she accumulates heat up to 100 
Uh, she gains 1.4 heat for each one point of energy consumed. At 50 heat, she enters the nitro fuel cocktail state uh, until all heat is expanded. Upon entering the battlefield, Bernice instantly accumulates 100 heat. Which that's pretty dope. Uh, I, I don't know if that means for switch-ins as well. I'm pretty sure it does. So that's pretty dang cool. Uh, when in the nitro fuel cocktail state, when Bernice hits an enemy with a basic attack, mixed flame blend, EX, special attack, chain attack, or ultimate, she applies the scorch effect to the target until she exits the nitro fuel cocktail state. When other squad members hit enemies under the scorch status, it triggers the afterburn effect, expanding eight heat to deal fire damage equal to 175 of Bernice's attack and accumulate fire anomaly buildup. So basically, she could just go off field and you're going to do what you need to do, which is the buildup. The additional ability fire kindling when another character in your squad is an anomaly character or shares the same faction so you, you could run her with uh caesar jane doe stuff like that when bernice's basic attack mixed flame blend ex special attack intense heat stirring method or ex special attack intense heat stirring method double shot hits an enemy or when the afterburn effect is triggered the this move accumulates fire anomaly buildup increases by 65 percent when any squad member applies the burn effect to an enemy, the duration of the effect is expanded by three seconds. That's bonkers, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about these specials now really quick, just to get that out the way. Uh, if you press to activate, unleash a fire blast forward, inflicting fire damage. Press and hold to charge, boosting the move's power. Anti-interruption levels increase when using the skill. But if you run the EX or the stirring method double shot, right? Let me get a drink of water real quick. When you run the double shop, when using an EX special attack and intense heat stirring method with enough energy, press, you know, the special to activate. Use both fire flamethrowers to continuously spray flames, followed by a fire blast in the front line, dealing massive fire damage. Keep holding to continue consuming energy and extend the spray's duration, right? Character is invulnerable during the moment the spray is activated and during the activation of the fire blast. Anti-interruption level is increased while spraying and damage received is reduced by 40%. That's huge. But there's still EX special attack intense heat stirring method. And with enough energy, you press the special to activate. Continuously spray flames with one-handed flamethrower. Then, er, then release a fire blast in a straight line forward. Dealing massive fire damage, continue holding to steadily consume energy and extend the spray's duration. While continuously spraying, drag the stick joystick to execute a sidestep dodge, adjusting your position to the corresponding direction. So she's got a lot, like, she's got a lot, but it, it's also not a lot. She works really well with being able to continue that fire damage, so I really like that. And then the last thing we're going to do is take a look at her chain. Um, chain attack, fuel, fl or fuel fed flame. When the chain attack is triggered, select the character to activate. Quickly dash forward while spraying flames in all directions. Then launch a fire blast in a fan-shaped area ahead, dealing massive fire damage. After using the skill, press the special to immediately follow up with the EX special attack intense heat stirring method double shot. Character is invulnerable while using the skill. And then you got when decibel rating is at a maximum. This is just for when your whole decibel rate is good to go. You're ready to use your ultimate. Dash forward quickly and leap into the air and continuously spray flames over a wide area ahead, dealing massive fire damage. When leaping into the air, a quick assist will be triggered. If the quick assist is activated, Bernice will extend the duration of her flame spray. Upon activation, recover 50 heat. So automatically, you're just constantly spraying fire. So I really like the fact that she seems more off field than anything else. I would probably use like her special and then switch into a Jane Doe to give like better opportunities of physical and fire damage accumulating but the ultimate thing here is should you summon for bernice now if i'm looking at this lucy is just kind of an afterthought to me i know that lucy will help trigger a lot of the stuff for bernice so if you're looking to trigger that stuff and you don't have caesar and you don't have piper lucy's the best bet so that would work really really well for her if you're looking for uh, anomaly uh nicole is registered as an anomaly character so, or at least I'm pretty sure she's anomaly. No, she's support. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm kind of dumb. But if you do end up running Bernice with Jane, you have that extra anomaly character. Lucy is just, or not Lucy, sorry. Nicole is fun to have in general. And I think she works in a lot of different teams, right? So I think you could pick up all three of these characters as a single team and it works, right? 
So to me, I think that Bernice is a good summon. So if you have currency to burn and you want to use these and you're not going for Yanagi or lighter, I would say summon for Bernice, especially if you have a Caesar, Jane Doe, any DPS that'll actually work really, really well with her. I right, let me take a look at this. You know, you got Jane Doe, you got Caesar works really, really well. Um, if you're looking for anomaly characters, obviously a Grace or a Piper, and Piper works double time because she's also part of Sons of Kaladin. You could run her alongside a Soldier 11. So I think you could run a Soldier 11 Bernice uh, Caesar team. That'd be pretty dope. Or even just like running, uh, let's see, you could run probably Soldier 11 Bernice and uh, Lucy as the backup character. So there's plenty of options, I think. So I think that Bernice is safe to summon on. I do think that Bernice is very safe to summon on. So if you're looking to get uh, a fire anomaly character like Bernice, this is a great time to do it. I think that it's a wonderful time to summon for him. And honestly, that's going to be it. I know this was kind of jumbled around a little bit. I'm very tired and I wanted to make sure to get this video out. Maybe I should script better. That's on me. But I do think that Bernice is a good unit to summon on. So if you're summoning for Beast, let me know in the comments down below. If you're summoning for Bernice, I don't. If you're summoning for Beast, right? I'm out of it, man. I need to go to sleep. So anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.